stay away from the guards. Where are you, Charles? Gone. Match me, Connor. Ah! All your skills, you're still but a boy. With uh, so much left to learn. Uh, uh, give me Lee! Impossible. He uh, is the promise of a better future. The sheep need a shepherd. He has been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored. you have some right to judge. Uh, to declare me and mine wrong for the world. Uh, and yet everything I've shown you, all I've said and done, should clearly demonstrate otherwise. We did not harm your people! Uh, we did not support the... land united and at peace under our rule all would be equal do the patriots promise the same I will spare you. Brave words. I'm mad about to die. You fare no better. <laughs> Even when your kind appears to triumph, still we rise again. And do you know why? It's because the Order is born of a realization. We require no creed, no indoctrination by desperate old men. All we need is that the world be as it is. And this is why the Templars will never be destroyed. Don't think I have any intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. I will not weep and wonder what might have been. I'm sure you understand. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You have shown great conviction, strength, courage. All noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. I'm going to give you one here, Dr. My father is dead. Charles Lee now leads the Templar Order in his place. I see now why ours is an eternal war. For each piece taken from the board, another is placed upon it. Back and forth we go. Across the world. Across the ages. Some days mine feels an impossible task. But I cannot afford to be consumed with doubt. The people need me. Now more than ever. I must stop the Templars. I will kill Charles Lee.
We gather today to remember a man of peerless vision who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now, the British prepare to retreat. Their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon follow. Either into our service or into the ground. And then, my friends, all of this will finally be ours. We have Haytham to thank for this. He and all those others who sacrificed for our cause. He sent me away that day at Fort George. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First... First, I'll destroy all you hold dear. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the severed heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I've finished with them, all the rest will burn as well. Your merry band of assassins, the human refuse that lives on your land, your village and its people, all of it, gone. You can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet. He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. Take him away. Shame we have to keep you alive. Where's Charles Lee gone? The harbor. To catch a ferry.
do you persist? You put us down, we rise again. You end one plot, we forge another. You try so hard, but it always ends the same. Those who know you think you mad, and this is why. Even those men you sought to save have turned their backs on you. Yet you fight. You resist. Why? Because no one else will. <laughs> Rough night, was it? He headed inland. Took a ferry up the Charles River. I will need passage as well. Of course. Only say the word. Why would they leave this behind? Ah, uh, long have we waited for you to return. You have done as we asked. 
You have succeeded. No. I have failed. My people are gone. Chased out by those who I thought would protect them. It is a trade. A sacrifice. And not in vain. For you have found it. This? Now, you must hide it. Where none shall think to look. And then in time... In time, what once was, shall be, again. I do not understand. Nor need you. Only do as we ask. Then, you may do as you wish. But what of my people? You have saved this place, as was your people's purpose. And that matters most. It is not enough. It will never be enough. You strive for that which does not exist. Still, you have made a difference. And you will do so again. Remember, you must hide the amulet where none might find it.
Old man. Achilles. What is it? Achilles has passed. I'm so sorry. He passed peacefully and with dignity. A service then? Yes. Please prepare something appropriate. I will see the grave is dug. Can you gather everyone? Anna, if you are reading this, I have failed to say goodbye as I wanted, but the time never seemed appropriate. I leave this land and all its resources to you. I trust you now know this place has become something of great significance. A community to serve as an example of what this would-be nation could become. But the larger and stronger it grows, the more fragile and difficult to defend it becomes. I hope your friends who are birthing this infant country understand this truth. Your unwavering tenacity and honesty have burdened you with responsibility far greater than any one man should bear. But you, if anyone, are capable. You have given an old man hope that all is not lost. And for that, I thank you. I ask that you lay my bones to rest on the hill overlooking the water. There is no other place on this earth I'd rather be. I am grateful to have met you, knowing you will guide this land and these people to a better future. Yours in brotherhood. Prayer and sermon do not suit this occasion. Achilles was not a man of God, not my God at any rate. But he certainly believed in a guiding force, and he is at peace now, and for that we can be grateful. We lay him to rest here, atop the bluff where he made his honorable and dignified life, so he can remain that comforting presence, the old man on the hill that we have all grown to depend on. You all had your own relationships with him, your own moments, and I implore you to return here when the time is right for you and share those stories with the waves and the trees. Achilles, you will be missed, but never forgotten. Go safely, old man, safely to where your soul need rest. I never properly said goodbye to you. I was not ready. So here I am. The weight of my responsibilities never seems to diminish. There is always something else that needs fighting for. 
This is something you never warned me of. Maybe because you thought I would have been deterred. You would have been wrong, but I know you were not accustomed to that. Life carries on here. The people seem happy. They are certainly safe, at least for now. One of my brotherhood asked me something I have been struggling with. What happens if, when, we win? When we stop the Templars? It is a question I certainly do not know the answer to. Perhaps you did not either. I miss you. As I miss my mother. I hope all is well with you. Wherever you are. Goodbye, old man. Until it comes time for me to join you, then I will bother you once again. <laughs>